channel. Today's video is going to be the classic back to school stationery haul. I was absolutely blown away by last year's response to my stationery haul. I couldn't have asked for any more love and support. It was just amazing. My channel grew massively in the back to school series. And so I am so unbelievably excited about this year's back to school series again. I literally just uploaded my shopping for stationery vlog up on my channel about an hour ago. So if you haven't already seen that, then please check it out. The response has already been amazing. So thank you for that. But today, of course, we are here to show you what stationery I have bought for this year. So here is my huge Wilco's bag. As you know from last year's video, I absolutely love Wilco's and I get most of my back to school supplies from there. So without further ado, let's get into the video and see what I got. I think we're gonna start with the school bag. Now, I think this is the only item I got that wasn't from Wilco. So I think we're gonna start with this. And obviously it's kind of like the base of what I'm gonna need for school. So I got this school bag from Victoria's Secret Pink. Now, obviously we'd never think to go in there for a school bag, but I just went in, you know, just looking at the clothes and stuff. And then I came across this bag and I was like, ooh, and now I love that color. And they had it in maroon, they had it in loads of different colors. And I just absolutely love it. It's a really great size. It's got the pockets in the side and it's very similar to a bag I used two years ago and then I used it at the end of last year which is a Vans like peachy colored bag and it's very very similar style to that uh, this was 26 pounds and yeah I just really really like it it's got nice thick straps at the back I will be doing a what's in my school bag video again this year if you want to hear more details about the bag then check out that video which will be coming out very soon and I absolutely love the color I think it's so beautiful so that is my school bag and now moving on to what I got from Wilco's we have some folders now the patterns and the colors and everything that they had in Wilco's this year was next level I absolutely love the patterns so it's a lot of this watercolor pastel nature vibes basically and I just absolutely love it it's just beautiful flowers butterflies I love the sage green background I feel like it kind of goes with my school bag it kind of matches that and then it is pink inside so this is just a small folder and this was £1.50 which I think is a pretty decent price for a ring binder then we have a lever arch folder again really really nice it has a very similar pattern on it it's the same floral pattern but obviously just all over i think it's so gorgeous i love the pink purple yellow tones in it it's just so nice and again it is baby pink inside which we all know i'm obsessed with pink so i really like it i didn't get quite as many pink things this year as i did last year but i still stuck with quite a pastel theme as you will see and this fold up was two pounds fifty then as usual i got some notepads but this year I got three so normally I just get one big refill pad and I was gonna do that but then I remembered that my best friend Megan uses a notepad for each subject that she does so I thought what a brilliant idea since as for my A-levels I only do three subjects I will just need three notepads and I'm going to keep one notepad in each folder that I take to school then I can write my notes for each subject in a different notepad and all my notes won't get mixed up and I got three of these 160 page notebooks for £2.50 then like last year I got another pucker pad but instead this year I got a mini one so it's like a mini a5 project book and it again has the dividers in purple and pink i got a mini one this year because i'm just going to use this for rough notes i did use mine a lot last year but i think i won't need to do quite as many rough notes this year obviously because this is my the year that i take my a levels i'm gonna be year 13 guys can you believe it I can't. Um, and this was actually supposed to be four pounds, but it was discounted to three. I do think that's quite expensive if I'm being completely honest, like three pounds for a little notebook. I think that's quite pricey, especially as the original price is four pounds. But can't really complain. I love the pastel colors again. Like I said, I got this ex exact notebook last year, just a bigger one. And I loved it so much that I got it again this year. So that says something. And then somehow we are on the final item already. I don't know how. I didn't buy quite as much stationery this year because I thought I can still use the stuff from last year. A lot of the stuff I didn't need to rebuy. So this is the final item and that is my pencil case. So this pencil case is really, really nice. It's actually a makeup bag though. Uh, again, from Wilco's, but it's actually, you know, it's labeled as a makeup bag and I got it from the makeup bag section. But they didn't have a wide variety of pencil cases in Wilco's and I thought, mm, I don't really love any of these. And I didn't want a huge pencil case because I've narrowed down what I'm taking this year. I'm just gonna try and take 
a little bit less stuff so that my bag isn't weighed down like it always is. This pencil case slash makeup bag was three pounds, which I really don't think is too bad. It's got a gorgeous brass, I guess brass colored um, zip. And then it has an embroidered B on it. I mean, how beautiful. I just think that is so pretty and so much detail. And it's a crushed velvet material and it's, I guess teal or dark green if you want to call it that and it's very similar to my soul color not going into the soul color thing right now but basically it's a color that i think really like resembles me so i think this color is a very me color despite not being pink <laughs> and it looks a lot lighter in real life it's showing up quite dark on camera but yeah it's just a deep teal color and i love this bee i think it's so gorgeous and like I said, three pounds, not bad at all. And it's a great size, it's really thin. It's not gonna take up too much room in my bag. And I just wanna say, that is obviously everything I've bought, but we seem to have quite a lot of the green theme going on this year. Last year it was mainly pink, and I think a lot of lilac last year was the theme. And this year the theme seems to be green. Uh, I love green, uh, but I never would have thought, oh, I'm gonna get loads of green stuff. It just, that kind of happened. Let's just have a really, really quick final recap of what I bought. Pencil case, pucker pad, three refill pads, a gorgeous sleeve arch folder, a ring binder, and a school bag that is pretty much the identical colour to this ring binder, which is what I'm talking about. The green theme is thriving this year. Um, but look how well they match. Wow, so coordinated and I didn't even plan it. Um, but yeah, and then a school bag from Pink. That is it for this year's back to school stationery haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Look out for my What's in My School Bag video, which will be coming so soon, and also my What's in My Pencil Case. Like I said, go watch the vlog of me shopping for all of these supplies if you haven't already watched it. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for all the support you guys give me. I It just means the absolute world to me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to my goal of 2,000 subscribers, and I will see you all very, very soon. Lots of love, Spark Rewind. Bye!